Freshman Colton Gelding Trotter is on parade for the seventh. One Magic Chris, owned by Diana Malone. Guy Malone trains. Dave Hawk is up. To Michael's line drive, owned by Blatchford Presser and Presser. Conditioned by Ron Potter. Chip Noble drives. Three and the chase, owned by Wyandotte Golf Course. Trained by Ronald Fuller with Tyvon Roden. Final Legacy, the four, owned by Gary Reynolds. Trained and driven by Dan Reynolds. Five Ashwood Topaz, owned by the Ashwood Farm. Jim Paliano from Marty Willem. Six. Pistol Pack and Trotter, owned by Melissa Levan. Ron Steck for trainer Herb Levan. Seven is Dawn's Fly By, owned by Red and Betty Shaw. Marty Willem trains Don McCurgan's up. AKC 39, owned by Tish and Kevin Cross. Steve Cross, the trainer. Brad Miller, the nine is out. The ten is U.S. Stars and Stripes, owned by Dean Davis and Brenda Sugg. Kurt Sugg trains and Jeff Fout drives. The Two-year-old Colton Gelding Trotters are lined up for their third division of tonight's second leg of Ohio Sire Stakes. Going off stride, the two, Michael's line drive, the three, and the chase. There they go. They're off to a scattered beginning. Final Legacy steps right out to take command in close company with Ashwood Topaz in second. Doan's flyby will angle over to the pylon. She'll grab the three hole, then a gap of two lengths farther back to Magic Chris. Next in line, it's U.S. Stars and Stripes, followed by Pistol Pack and Trotter. KC39 is about five lengths clear of End the Chase, and then it's much farther back to the trailer. Michael's line drive as they move around to head stretch. Dan Reynolds and Final Legacy setting the tempo early, leading Ashwood Topaz pass by two and a half. Dawn's flyby is third, 30 and four for the opening quarter as they move by the stands for the first time and they're well strung out being led by Final Legacy. Final Legacy sent off as your four to five favorite is in control here as they pass under the wire and head for the turn. Asher Topaz drafts in from second, gap out two and a half. Dawn's flyby is third. Magic Chris is about six lengths in arrears racing in the fourth spot. Two and a half back to Pistol Pack and Trotter inside of KC starting nine who starts to get up on starts to uh, move up on the outside and then four lengths farther back to end the chase 101 and two for halftime off the turn and down the back stretch and final legacy widens the advantage to five lengths as ashwood topaz struggles to keep up in second two and a half lengths back magic chris is racing in the third spot and gaining ground seven off the lead Dawn's flyby is racing in fourth by two. Then we get Pistol Pack and Trotter. Casey, 39, is off stride, followed by in the chase as they head for the far turn. It's Final Legacy in complete solitude, 1.30 and 2. On around to the top of the stretch, Final Legacy by seven lengths. Magic Chris has improved into second, followed by Ashwood Topaz third. A gap of three more to Dawn's flyby in fourth as Final Legacy turns for home with a six-length lead. It's all Final Legacy as they trot through the final eighth mile. Magic Chris is trotting along in second, then three back to Dawn's flyby and Ashwood Topaz. But the third division of the two-year-old Colton Gelding trot goes to Final Legacy and Dan Reynolds in two minutes and two. Magic Chris was second, Dawn's flyby was third. Final Legacy keeps a perfect record, three for three lifetime with this victory in two minutes and two. It's the fastest of those miles. A two-year-old Bay Colt by striking Sauber out of winter finale by final score, owned by Gary Reynolds, trained and driven by Dan Reynolds. In the winner's circle, helping make the presentation of the winning connections, OHHA director Terry Holton.